All right, it's cold night, late January, and we're working on a Bowie knife. So, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple things, one of which is the handle that I've got going for this, and then the focus of this video is gonna be on uh, putting a fuller groove in here. Some call it a blood groove. We're gonna put that fuller in here on the bridge port. So, let's jump in and get started. So I've got my handle material right here, and it's uh, this beautiful walnut. It's a uh, pretty old. My friend gave me a bunch of it uh, to make some knife scales out of and uh, it was uh, for a gun stock and I guess the sawmill had uh, a bunch of it that the company didn't buy from them that would manufacture the gun stocks I guess and so they had a bunch of the material. Anyways my buddy hooked me up with this stuff and it is it is just some very very pretty walnut. It's got kind of a little bit of a light red to it that I'm really looking forward to seeing how uh, it looks once we get some oil on it. However, it's not a super complex uh, hole pattern, but it was a little bit tricky to get everything lined up. Did get it to uh, look pretty good. So I'll show you real quick and then uh, we'll get to the point of this video, which is putting a fuller in it. So it's always nice whenever your pins go through. Everything's looking good. Boom, boom, boom. And then uh, what I like to do on my knife scales is I don't know if you can see very well, but there's two little dots right here and one further to the outside, one further to the inside, and they kind of go that way. And same story with this one right here, two little dots. That helps me know what the orientation of the scale is so that I can keep everything straight um, when I'm assembling and disassembling stuff several times. So anyhow, so throw this bad boy on there. Hopefully it still lines up and uh, push it through. And everything is looking pretty good. All right, so basic idea there. Got a little bit of, all right. Push these pins through, that pin through. So everything looks good. So, got this thing ready to go. Have to obviously do quite a bit of shaping on it, but I am super pleased with how this is working out and the direction that I've got it heading. Anyhow, let's get to putting a fuller in this bad boy. Got to find the tooling and uh, get the bridge port set up. So, let's go. All right, so, what I have going on so far is just getting some clamps up here. And what I think my plan is, is I'm going to use the back edge of the knife, the spine, uh, to locate against the vice jaw. So uh, there's a little bit of a step on the vice jaw. I think I'm gonna be able to use that to locate that way. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use this little pinhole right here um, to locate in X, so I'm gonna grab one of the pins out of the scales and uh, throw it in here. And then that should uh, allow me to locate in the same kind of place every time. Uh, and then, let's see here. So if I hold that against that like that, and that pin's holding me against that edge, uh, then now I'll be able to make this cut on this side. Um, what I'll have to think about is my start and stop points and uh, that relative from the edge of this vice jaw and the edge of the outside of the vice because that's what I'm using to locate on right now. So um, which should be the same on both sides. I'll just have to like edge find uh, here and here but at least I'll get the knife in the same place uh, basically when I flip it over here and here, then I have, I can edge find off of this and edge find off of this, which this will stay the same every time, um, but I'll know kind of where, where I'm at. So anyways, from this surface in, from this surface down, uh, that'll be good. And same thing when I flip it over on this side, coming off of this surface, going that way, coming off of this surface, going that way, I should have uh, a pretty good consistent stop and starting point so that my bevel, excuse me, not my bevel, uh, my groove, uh, my fuller is the same uh, on both sides. It's located in the same part of the knife on both sides. So anyhow, that's what I think I'm going to do. We'll see if that actually works. And then I'm going to use 
this 3 8 uh, ball nose end mill. That's going to be what I'm going to use to actually cut the groove with. So, should work out well. Let's see. First things first, <sighs> gotta stay hydrated, drink some coffee. All right, where's my edge finder? There she is. And this is a half inch edge finder. So one of the things I hate is sometimes the edge finder gets stuck and the collet and it wants to pull it out and you can wreck your edge finder if you're not careful and I have done that before so let's put this bad boy in the machine you eating wood over there Cleo you're wild girl too wild Safety glasses, turn on the inverter, get this baby spinning, and we'll set some. Uh, I wasn't thinking much. Hopefully, I can still get in there with the edge finder. I think I can. thou edge finder so I know that I'm a hundred this way so now I need to go hundred back put it on center so that is just some work with this I zeroed it out already now I'm at 23 thou I gotta go to 100 Zero. So that the center two tenths won't kill me. All right. So that's actual Y zero. Now I gotta see if I can come over here and find uh, zero and X. Getting in over here. Hopefully, I can actually do it. Getting in with all of what I've got going on with my clamping system. So. We'll try. No 
Make sure I'm not hitting something. Surface. I think I'll clear though. Yeah, we'll be good. Uh, messing with the camera and forgot which direction I'm already going. Hope it didn't ruin my edge finder. Ah, she's good. All right, zero. And then call it good. Eighty, ninety, one hundred. That means I now have my zeros set so that I know where I'm coming from. Uh, for X and Y. So that pin is locating to hold me that direction in X off of this surface. This knife spine is against the jaws. So that's going to give me my Y. Now, where in the world do I want to go to put an actual groove over here? So we'll get out, take out the edge finder and uh, start eyeballing in kind of what in the world we want for the length and stop and starting points of the groove. I'm frustrated that I went the wrong direction on my edge finder like that. Messing with the camera. Not staying focused. Now this is where you really can mess up things and pull out, when you pull this out really stretch the spring that's in here so um, I'm gonna get a punch not that you guys out there actually have any concern or care about these kinds of things but maybe you do maybe you just got a bridge port for the first time and you don't even know what to look for I don't know but I'm gonna put a little punch in here and gently tap it out that way I'm not pulling on that spring all right it's ball nose end mill Tightened up. All right, so now let's see where in the world we're gonna go with this. Now we'll raise the knee a little bit. All right, I always like to take the slack out and zero everything out clockwise. Alright. Knee is good. Okay. Let me zoom in here. See what we've got. What are we working with here? So, got to figure out where we want to put that groove. So I'm thinking somewhere Here is a good starting spot. Maybe lined up with the uh, maybe lined up with this bevel, the grind line. Maybe a little in front of it. Hmm. Decisions. All right. Okay. So here's where I'm at. I think that looks pretty good where I'm going to start this, um, but I want you to be able to see the DRO as well. And so where I am is I'm at uh, Y, I'm 513 thou off of this jaw. So I've gone this way, 513 thou towards me. And uh, I'm at two inches off of this surface, two inches, 286 thou off of this surface in. So I'm gonna make those numbers even, just uh, not necessarily mathematically even, I'm just gonna make them nice and, and uh, no, not weird numbers like 228. We'll probably do like two, two inches, 250. So two and a quarter and then half an inch off of Y. So 
uh, that's what I think I'll do so that it's just easy to, to not have to think too hard about it when I flip it over to the other side, that I know that this is the center of it, is a half an inch off of the jaw. All right, so half an inch off the jaw this way and Y, and then um, I'm going to set X at two inches, 250 thou. So we'll go that direction and set this thing at 200, two inches, 250. And those will be our numbers. All right, so that's what we've got over there. And I'm gonna take my Sharpie and write on my vise. So in Y, I want it 500, and then X is two inches, 250. Let's see what happens. So the only other two variables that I've gotta consider uh, is how deep do I wanna go, and I've gotta make sure that I keep track of that so once I touch off, um, I'm going to lock in uh, my quill so it can't go down and then I'm going to make my adjustments with the knee. But I got to remember what I do once I touch off. So that'll be another thing that I've got to mark off. And so I'm going to write a Z number. What's my Z depth? And then what else do I need to think about? Oh yes, how far will I go over? So then my I'm going to call it my X2 uh, number and that'll be how long the fuller is when I start and stop. So without further ado, let's turn this thing on and hopefully everything holds. Just got one clamp, I don't know, that might not be good enough, shouldn't kill me. But we'll go see what happens. All right, so locked in my quill, using my knee, I'm gonna touch off and I'm gonna go probably all right, so it just touched off, so I'm gonna zero out my knee. Ugh, come on. Probably at the apex or the tangent line right here of the uh, where the clip, not the clip, the uh, drop point starts. That'll probably look pretty good. What do I got? 
Okay, so I've got a couple of rest spots where I sat there and rested for a little bit while I messed with the camera and stuff, which I don't care because I'm going to take probably another 10 thou cut, make this a little bit deeper, and that'll be clean, and I, I, I won't mess with it. So, let me see. i got to write down uh, what am I going to do. So, I think for my Z, I'm going to have 30 thou cut. Uh, don't write 300 because that will make you have a bad day. 03.03, so 30 thou for my Z cut, and then on my X, uh, it's gonna be, let's see, X2, so um, four inches, 380, so 4.380, and minus 2.25, because that was my starting number, and I'm just gonna get my calculator out so that I don't mess this up. Uh, so let's see, two, in, excuse me, 4.380 minus 2.250 equals 2 inches, 130. So that's 2.130. Or in this case, it is this number, 4 inches, 380. But my overall length of that fuller is uh, two inches, 130 thou. So, I think that's good. I'm gonna go up in Z another 10 thou to finish at my 30 thou cut. And then I'm going to drop, uh, go back in, drop in and go back to my two inches, 250 thou number and then flip it over. So, should be good. I'm at 30 thou mark, and I'm going to 2 inches, 250, the opposite direction. close to my end number, two inches, 250. So I've got to focus on my DRO, not worry about the air. I'm still 100 thou away, but i got to think. Two inches, 250, coming up. 50 thou away. 77, 70, 68, 60, 57. 56, 53, 52, 51, 0, raise up the quill. Alright, I think that looks pretty good overall. And obviously I'm going to have to uh, really make it look nice with the some sanding inside there to get the surface finished the way I'd like it. But I actually think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, flip it over to the other side. All right, so I got the first side done. Let's take it off and see how it looks and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. So, 
First things first, actually. Sorry, don't mean to make you wait, but that's important. Very important. All right, so make sure I got all my numbers right. Negative uh, 2 inches, 250 thou, 500, the Y doesn't move. My final number was 4 inches, 380, which was 2, 130 off of that side. Okay. Z depth was 30 thou, final number. Making sure I don't miss anything because once you unclamp, you're kind of committed. Oh, and there goes my pin, which is good because that means I had enough pressure on it to hold it in place. All right, so. Put the pin back for a second. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty mean. If I'm, if I'm being honest with you, uh, that thing looks pretty good. So, I am going to do the other side. So, uh, everything looks pretty, pretty decent as far as I'm just kind of trying to look. Okay, is this, you know, where is it now? Um, like I said, I'm, I'm not wild about the surface finish, but I don't really care about that because I'm gonna clean that up. And there is a slight angle to this because I think that my spine has a little bit of an angle, but it looks good. And honestly, it doesn't matter as long as it's symmetrical on both sides. So anyways, that's what it, what it looks like right now. So I'll try to give you a little bit of a closer up view of kind of what it looks like. So that 3 8 ball nose end mill did a good job. Okay, so now to flipping around doing the other side. So a couple things are in order. I've got to move my clamp over to the other side as well. Instead of being a knucklehead. Yeah, because see, it's not huge, but I'm already starting to put a little bit of a dent in my blade. And I don't want dings and dents that I gotta work out later. So don't be lazy. Don't be like me. Move your Focus. Two inches, two hundred and fifty thou is my starting point. Two hundred and fifty thou. Okay, so that's good. Y is right, X is right. Come down to that. And then I'll touch off, set my zero, and then come up with the knee and make my final cut. So anyhow, um, I don't know how much fun it will be to watch me recut this, but I'll tune in to show you when I'm finished. First things first, that's still set at 30, so I'm gonna have to zero all that out. So cue. The inverter.
perfecto. All right, so let's get this thing unmounted and take a look. Okay guys, got this thing torn off the bridge port and uh, it really looks good. So as you can kind of see the start and stop points on both sides, both sides are the same, which is always what we're looking for. So it's the same length, stop and start points are the same. It's really, really nice. So anyhow, I will obviously sand it up, polish it up, and get it looking good the rest of the way as far as surface finish and all of that goes after heat treat. But anyways, this thing turned out, turned out pretty good. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if it was helpful, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all those good things that you're supposed to do on, on YouTube. But anyways, I'm pretty pleased with this little build and uh, maybe I'll show you the rest of it as we go. And until next time, you guys have a good time. Stay safe. We'll see you later. Bye.